So here we are with the foot. First and foremost, as we always do, we always do demonstrate laterality because we got to make sure it's left or right. So how do we do this? Well, here's of course the big toe, and that always faces medial, and hopefully you can recognize it because it's the big toe, and so that's always medial. The other thing is this heel-like structure, which is your heel, called the calcaneus. This always faces posterior, so this is always towards the back. And then right at the top is this big gigantic knuckle-like structure, and that would be the talus, and that's always superior, going up or proximal to our body, sorry, proximal. And thus, this is my right foot. Well, not my right foot, but this specimen's right foot. And so let's begin to take a look at the seven different tarsal bones. A little bit different than the carpal bones because those are eight. So let's take a look. First one's pretty simple. This is the calcaneus. Calcaneus! Sounds real harsh and hard, just like our heel is. And so hopefully that makes sense. Calcaneus, this is where our heel and our calcaneal tendon would attach. As you can see, more prominent features if you had a real strong gastrocnemius or those calf muscles. And the other one is this guy, called a talus. And you can imagine, this is the place where it would articulate with our ankle. And part of the reason why I remember this is because I think of an eagle coming down and like snatching up a pincher or like some dog to be able to go feed its young or something like that. So it's like, talus! Anyways, a little peek into my mind, but that's all right. This is the talus, and on top of it has this nice knuckle-like condyle. We call it the, tr the trochlea. Be very similar to the one in the ulna because it's like a spool-like structure. And this is, again, where we articulate with the tibia and be able to dorsi and plantar flex. After these two, we take a look at these different sets. Hopefully you can kind of see this little guy right here, kind of making a set where it's like a boat. And then one, two, three different bones. Uh, this, they say it looks like a boat. Uh, to me it doesn't, but they call it the navicular, and uh, with these three bones, to articulating with it, these are called the cuneiforms. And in all honesty, I think of like, this is the navicular, it navigates his little three little cuneiforms. Um, I have this picture of sled dogs, you don't have to have that. But this is the navicular, named after a boat, and then these cuneiforms, all three of them are called cuneiforms. So how do you delineate between those three? You just kind of say this is the medial, this is the intermediate, and this is the lateral. So after that we have this kind of bone that looks like a cube. Honestly, I don't see it, but that's okay. So this is the cuboid, articulating with the last two metatarsals. So reviewing the tarsal bones, we got the calcaneal, calcaneus, sorry, calcaneus, the heel, the talus with the trochlea, we have the navicular, which looks like this boat, always on the medial side, you see from the big toe, with its three individual medial, intermediate, and lateral cuneiforms, and then the cuboid. Once after that, we take a look at the foot, and we have our five different metatarsals, and they're very nice. We just kind of describe them as number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, all Roman numerals. Metatarsals, and again, because this is our right foot, we say it's the right metatarsal number one. And in the same sense, the last bit is these bones here of our toes. And keep in mind, hopefully it's a reminder of all the 56 bones that are found only in our toes and our fingers. And so we have to get a way in which we are able to name them. And we use it with six different words. If you want to be as specific as you can, six words will get you there. And so the six words, the first word is left or right, determining laterality. The second one is Proximal, middle, or distal. Proximal, middle, or distal. And so this would be a proximal, that's a middle, that's a distal. And then the word of the actual bone. These are all phalanges or phalanx. Uh, so these are phalanges, so this would be a proximal right, sorry, this would be a right proximal phalanx. And then how do you number them? Uh, they actually get numbered according to the metatarsal or metacarpals that tells you both number as well as if it's in the arm or the, or the hand or the feet. And so this, of course, this little tiny bit one that probably you still put I don't know, toenail polish, but you're really painting on skin rather than that little toenail. This is the distal, the right distal phalanx of metatarsal number five. If you left out the metatarsal, then you have to say of the foot. So extra words, that's why I like doing metatarsal. So those are the 56 bones. You can name them that way. Uh, metatarsals, one through five, and then our tarsal bones.